Well, uh, hello there, subscribers, uh, Facebook pals, uh, comedy fans, um, and potential uh, hate viewers. It's uh, Jacob coming to you again from the uh, Dallas Open Micer YouTube channel with another uh, comedy show promo video. I've got my, my comedy shirt on again. I've got my mighty fine cup of coffee. And, uh, well, for this one, I didn't have time to... Uh, address the set here with this is my vinyl community uh, filming location um i didn't did not put up the uh, comedy records for you for this one just uh, didn't have the time and energy my my right ear is uh, plugged up um so uh it's uh, really uh, playing with my left ear how the sound of my voice is uh, to to me but uh I did think this, uh, this Fats Waller record cover there uh, kind of looked like Fats is uh, making a bit of a Patrice O'Neill face. Um, so that's uh, kind of nice. Um, well, what am I here for this time? Do I have an upcoming show? Well, I sure do. I'm here to uh, lightly promote it. Um, now, uh, but between you and me, um, um, my, my promotional videos for Tuesday night shows at... Uh, the Plano House of Comedy um, are are not very effective. Um, my my demographic, um, you know, the people that watch my videos and, and have come out to my other shows, weekend shows in the past, um, they uh, they are not um, going out on Tuesday nights. Um, practically up there in in Frisco, um, you know, it's not uh, geographically convenient and. Uh, you know, these are these are, you know, this this competition is uh, for uh, uh, the funniest person with a day job. So uh, I'm a working man, and uh, you know, the coworkers uh, going out on a Tuesday night, uh, you know, not the best time to invite them in. But uh, if I do well and uh, win this whole thing, I'll uh, I'll get a weekend spot, and then uh, then they have no more excuses. So uh, that'll be exciting. Um, but uh, this uh, this funniest com comedian comic with a day job competition. If you do want to come out and and see some uh, amateur comedians uh, attempt to be funny for five minutes a pop, um, come on down to the, the Plano House of Comedy uh, Tuesday night, May 9th. Uh, show starts at seven thirty, but you know, you're gonna want to get there by seven to uh, get yourself seated and get get a good spot um and uh, uh maybe uh maybe start up on an appetizer or two um but um, i'll put a i'll put a link down down there below um if uh, if this is something you're seeing on facebook if, if i'm on youtube i'll just put information down below because they uh, they may uh i'm a little bit nervous about them uh, uh messing with the uh, the video fate they see a uh, an outside link that they don't like, although I've heard Facebook does that too. Um, I don't want to get throttled um, or uh, or shadow banned for uh, for messing with those algorithms or uh, those those unseen overlords behind the uh, behind the monitoring screens that uh, you know suppress content creators. Um, well, uh, you know, this is a competition. Um, you might be wondering, uh, Jacob, are, are you nervous? No, I, I'm not nervous one bit. Um, you might be thinking, is that is that hubris? Is that is that your ego shining through? Or are you are you overconfident? And I, you know, I just want to let you know, I, I have a different philosophy. Um, I, I don't really view this as a competition. I, I, I view this as an opportunity to showcase my excellence. Um, whatever the outcome. Uh, I intend on, on bringing my new smartphone camera and, and the tripod here and, and take some amateur footage from one of the unsold tables at the back of the room. Um, you know, like I said earlier, um, and I, I don't move a lot of tickets on Tuesday night, so it's a pretty good chance there's gonna be some unsold tables at the back of the room that, that I can use to set up and, and, and use as a filming location or filming base. But uh, it's been a while since I've been in a comedy competition. The last time was uh, uh, 2019, December 2019. I was uh, 
semi-finalist in the, the funniest comic in Texas. So uh, that means um, I advanced. They didn't have a quarterfinals or a round of 16. It means I advanced from round one. Um, and uh, I, uh, I I have a, a, a very fond memory of that, that uh, round one competition. See, I did very well with the audience in the uh, during my performance. That was a a, a crowd vote uh, round, and uh, this is before I had this the smartphone um, that I'm that I'm talking into now. And uh, so uh, I was not a, able to even vote for myself at the time, as they were using a, an online voting mechanism. And uh, while the while the votes. Um, were, were being were being counted up. One of my uh, one of my competitors, um, a gentleman named Reggie French, um, he uh, promotes clean comedy shows around the Dallas uh, Fort Worth metroplex. Um, he noticed that uh, that my uh, my name was not uh, was not in the uh, in the list that the, the people were able to choose from when they were voting and. Uh, you know, uh, Reggie promotes clean comedy, but uh, I also say, Reggie, uh, you could promote um, classy comedy. Is, uh, what uh, what Reggie French did um, was uh, he, he notified the uh, the folks where the, the competition was being held there at the Anderson Improv that my name had been left off of the uh, off of the vote off of the digital ballot and. Uh, um, you know, by doing so, you know, statistically, mathematically, he was uh, reducing his his odds of winning. But uh, he didn't he didn't pause for a moment there, and uh, he did the right thing. And uh, um, you know, he uh, he um, was able to advance as the first place winner. But uh, by the uh, you know kind hearted act of a, a gentleman named Reggie French, I was able to uh, to pose on the stage. Uh, doing this this is not like ringo star piece man um this is this is this is two two fingers so i was able to take second place and the two of us were were able to advance together and uh, and be defeated in the semifinals. um so um this go around um you know i do have the uh the, the confidence in knowing that uh, i'm loved loved by crowds and uh you know i i uh i'm I'm a legitimate semi-finalist competitor in the Metroplex, and uh, well, I can see if I can I can hold that hold that ground and and, and advance to to another uh, second round, which will be labeled the semi-final round. Um, would be nice if uh, um, there were a, you know, like a, a, a round for uh, um, you know maybe uh, quarterfinals. Um, or a round of uh, 16 or something like that but uh oh we'll keep it we'll keep it simple um you know i'm i'm being a bit silly here because one of the things about local comedians is um they don't have enough fresh material for 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 multiple rounds so if if they were bringing their 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 family and friends the people that they drag out to their shows to um you know three or four rounds as they advance to the finals they would not have any fresh material and uh, those those people that that love them enough to come out would start to um, become very resentful of, of being taken advantage of and having to hear the same jokes that they've been told uh, every time they go to the, the you know, these comedians shows you know f for months on end if not for for years you know these comics are still telling the same jokes but uh um you know since uh you know you're probably not going to come out and support me the the risk of the people who are who are going to be at the at the show are are going to know any of my material it is pretty low and and i do like to tell new jokes on stage um so i do this for my own amusement i'm uh i'm not a a, a crowd pleaser by uh by uh disposition um i just uh I, i've come to accept uh, voyeuristic behavior from from people in, in comedy clubs who, who've paid to watch um other people have a good time and be funny um but uh, I, i'm really doing it for myself it's kind of like um you know if i was uh, uh you know a starting quarterback in the nfl um you know i would i would hope that i would be having a good time um 
and uh, you know I'd go out there and win win so I could enjoy winning and then if if a hundred thousand people wanted to watch from the stands you know um, that would be fine with me but uh, I'd be happy playing in an empty stadium um, if, if I was getting paid millions of dollars to do that um, I'm gonna get paid absolutely nothing on uh, Tuesday May 9th um, I'll have to pay the toll I'll have to pay the gas I'll have to to buy my own drinks um, this dedicated uh, working class man comedian that uh, you know uh, is invested in his comedy hobby but uh, hey uh, you know there is a chance of uh, of me winning the big thousand dollars before taxes and becoming a, a weekend support act probably a guest spot and then uh, who knows uh, who knows what's in my future um, I could leave my uh, my working man days behind um, and I could wear my comedy shirt um, every day hope hope to see uh, somebody out there Tuesday May 9th thanks for watching